Key techniques in the pediatric cataract surgery. I am Dr. Sudarshan Khokhar. I am a professor at RP Center, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. The cataractus lens blocks the light to enter the eye. Meticulous surgery is a must in this patient, plus a good follow up and a compliance in terms of glasses and amblyopia treatment to get a good surgical outcome. A good anesthesia team is mandatory for all these patients since you can't do with these patients without the help of an anesthesia team. Is the infant eye as, as good as a small adult eye? The answer is no, because if you notice the palpal aperture is half the size of the adult eye and the corneal diameter changes rapidly in the first two years. So does the excellence which goes from 17 millimeter in a newborn to 24 millimeter by the end of two years and the corneal diameter which is a steeper cornea in, at birth starts going flatter and becomes Quite, norm, quite close to the normal by the age of two years. And the infant sclera is half as thick as adult. So all these people who want to put a scleral fixated lenses onto the scleral, sclera in these patients should be careful. So which one to operate? All these cataract patients which have more than three millimeter central opacity has to be operated. The posterior cataracts have to be operated earlier than the anterior cataracts. And in case there's a presence of nystagmus and a strabismus in these patients, it becomes mandatory to operate them as soon as possible. Now, if you see this slide, picture number one, one and four have to be operated right away, but two and three could, you can wait in these patients unless they have a strabismus, nystagmus in these eyes. Now, when should you operate? As soon as possible, but the studies have quoted that if you do operate it less than four weeks to six weeks of time, then more chances of anesthesia problems and apnea in these patients. So between, after the age of six weeks, it's mandatory to operate these patients, whether it's a unilateral or a bilateral cataract. This is a paper which supports that the elasticity of the capsule changes if you dip them in. Now, uh, Size and the shape and integrity of the capsule X is very important for the long-term centration of the IOL. This is what I do in my OR and I have a cholesterol eye microscope in which there's a reticule. In my right reticule shows me a 5 millimeter ring which I can actually project onto the eye and can measure and do my uh, rexes completely. RK marker or old refines to mark on the cornea so you can have a 5 millimeter rexes. What instrument should you use? The gold standard is still is a utrata forceps or intravitreal forceps which gives you a best control. Otherwise, you can use a vitrectomy handpiece, you can use diathermy, you can use a plasma radio frequency blade as well.